Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Steve, you look pale. What happened? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Did you have something on your mind? You look so concerned. Maybe I can help you. Well, I am under a lot of pressure. My boss is very pushy. He assigned me three projects. Now the deadlines are near, and I still have not finished all of my projects. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, I guess no one can help me but myself. For the moment, I just need someone to talk to, so that I can relieve my stress. Did you go to school today? Yeah, I went to school today. Were you there? No, I didn't go. I've been sick. That sucks. Did you want the assignments from English class? That would be nice. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. I will be glad to do the same for you when you're sick. Well, thank you. I hope to see you at school tomorrow. How upsetting. He has been away for a week. I don't know if anything terrible has happened. I have reported it to the police. We'd better prepare for the worst. Hello, this is Susan. Hello, I'm Mark. I'm just wondering if you are free this weekend. Yes, I think so. Good. I was thinking that I'd like to invite you to watch a movie. I can meet you at the cinema gate. What's the time? 6.30, tonight. Oh, I'm sorry I can't because I have to do some housework. You can ask Jenny to go with you. All right, maybe next time I can go with you. Bye. Goodbye. Hello, Mary. How are you? Not bad. How about you, John? Fine. Thank you. The idea about Friday the 13th is totally ridiculous. I don't believe it at all. Maybe you can't be so sure. Why not? The whole idea is superstitious. But some people use this occasion to create trouble. Have you heard of the Black Friday virus on the computer? It is designed to break out on every Friday the 13th. I know that, but that has nothing to do with being unlucky. Those who created the virus are deliberately making fun of people. Is the clock right? I'm afraid it gains a little. By how many minutes? Two. Why is little Billy crying? He got a scolding. I'm feeling hungry. Isn't it time for dinner? Yes. Let's get something to eat. How about McDonald's? May I ask what the name is the girl? Which one? The tallest one. She is Meow Lee. She's come here to see her brother. Oh, it's so. She looks very lovely. Could you give me some else information on her? Okay. She's a costume designer and works in a garment mill. How do you think about her? She looks very beautiful. She is a nice girl. I'm wondering if she has boyfriend. No, she hasn't. Great. 
Thank you very much. I heard you were on a date last night. So, how did it go? I want all the juicy details. Um well, actually, we had a fantastic time last night. He was amazing. Okay, now you really have to fill me in. What's he like? He's really good looking. He's quite tall, around 6'1". He's in his early 30s, and he's got the most beautiful dark brown eyes. He sounds hot. What does he do for a living? You know what? This is the best part. David is a junior investment banker at Fortune Bank, so he's got a great career path ahead of him. Hold on a sec. His name is David? Yeah? That's my brother. I don't know if you remember. But with Honest Every Day last year we tidied the knot. Of course I remember, actually. I am very surprised you remembered. I thought for sure you would forget. How could I ever forget? I even bought you roses because I love you. They are so beautiful. I love them, and I love you too. You are more beautiful than the roses. I don't know how. But I love you more than the day we got a married. Yes, we are match made in heaven. I know of the past years we have faced and shared troubles, but we survived and here we are. Yes, we did. We did have problems, but we shared a lot of happiness too. We countered the problems and had a lot of happiness too. Yes, we did. I love you. Happy anniversary. I love you. Happy anniversary. Hi, dear. Do you know what the important day is today? I don't know. Please think it over. Oh, I see. Come on, dear. I know you mustn't forget it. It's Saturday. A great weekend. Or, you really let me down. Don't be angry with me. I have a bad memory. No, you haven't. You just don't care about me. You're an indifferent husband. What day is it on earth? It's the anniversary of our weeding. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.